Hey guys and gals, let's start with another LEGO set project. This is the Arctic Explorer ship by LEGO City. This is set number 60368. Contains 815 bricks, retails for $159.99, and the set was provided to me by the LEGO Group for early review. And we'll take a look at why it's that in later on in the segments. So this thing comes with four manuals. So we're going to do the little boat and stuff like that. And if you notice, they actually have a bag here. So they're associating with manuals with bags. I like that. I hope LEGO, LEGO watches these, so I'm hoping they'll continue on with this here. And this one's two. We're doing that. We're doing this gal with the helicopter with this gentleman here. That's bag three. And four through nine is the ship. And this boat piece is pretty much what probably why this set's expensive. And yeah, that's uh, <laughs> I think it's like 28 inches long, which is longer than this table that I'm working on now. So it's gonna be pretty big. And I can see this being used for something else. As a matter of fact, I got a couple of ideas I want to do for mocks with that. So that's pretty much the manual layout. We also get a set of stickers here. Make sure I'm facing these the right way here for you. It's got the set number here. And we got some other graphics and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. We don't need those right now. I'm going to need manual one because we're going to start with that first. So let's begin with bag number one. <laughs> that's it. So bags one through three are going to be pretty small. And I'm going to break this build down into two installments because it shouldn't be that long to do got the bulk bin here and we're going to need to put together the shark but that's probably the first thing now the first thing is the mini figure we got to put him together first so i'm about halfway i'm a little well i'm, about, I'm over halfway done with filming videos and I'm only about 25% done with actually processing them. <laughs> it's, uh, it's going pretty slow. And just trying to get caught up with things. I was trying to set up my laptop to edit some videos on. And the problem with that is, is I had a problem with iTunes not working. I finally got it working and the editor software doesn't want to handle audio for some reason so I'm kind of at a loss here with everything so I'm just trying to get everything done and I've been getting questions asked about a few videos that I've been doing on here why is it taking me a long time to upload parts one two and three because I have a day I have a day job I have a life other than YouTube and some people take offensive to that. And I'm just like, dude, just chill. <laughs> I'm going as fast as I can, you know. And I'm kind of at the point of not uh, doing a whole lot of video. What in, what kind of wig is this? <laughs> okay, I... I I think a lot of us have had hair like this before, but, yeah, I mean, and of course you can change it out and put this on him. We'll make it a warm spring day, so I don't feel like popping wigs off. And now we got to build the camera for one of these guys. Can't get to the shark yet, but here's the bottom jaw or the whale or whatever it is so i was just and i know i kind of i try not to do rants on these things but sometimes it's like dude you know let me uh work at my own pace here lego's been getting kind of bad about sending this stuff so late why i don't know so oh they're using that my 4K job has something like that on there. Yeah, I looked at the 4K video and stuff. And I thought, well, okay, I'm going to try a different lighting situation. Well, I don't have 
the bin right now with the parts. I don't know what I did with it, so I'm trying to find it now. And things have been hectic around here and stuff like that. And there we go. It was right up to his face, too. So I just haven't had time to really get to it. And that's pretty much what it is. You put the jaw in there, and there you go. So it's Shamus, the killer whale. Okay, there we go. Will that fit in there? I swear they make these things where they can swallow minifigures whole. That's a keeper right there. <laughs> Guys and gals, I have to say it though. Those animal figures are... Um, I, I never at first never liked collecting them, but now I'm starting to collect them because they work good for scenic stuff. So, that's essentially what I'm doing. Not too bad. And... Okay, so I'm trying to get everything done here. I have, this is like my 12th or 13th set that I'm filming. I think it's my 12th. I have 22 that I have to do in total. And if they start sending me more offers, I have to plan ahead and see if I need to get them done or not. Because I don't know yet. And this goes back here. And... I need to find another tripod because I'm thinking about how I'm going to film this video. I cannot put that on a turntable and set it on here. Because the turntable will be like half hanging off this and I'm afraid it would fall over. So I'm trying to think of how I want to film this video. Like I said, I'm usually used to doing stuff like this for tutorials. Matter of fact, I got to thinking the way this tripod is I could sit right here and do it like this. I've been thinking about that. I just got to get a little st stool in here and do that. And, oh, we have two of these that go in here like this. And, of course, we got the lights. I think one's for starboard, one's for port. Oh, and by the way, I have some extra pieces here. <laughs> um... When things fall on the floor, I, ha I start to get in the habit of putting them in bag number one. Even if they're from bag nine, there's only nine bags in the set, I just have to deal with it. And that's it. Now, here's the deal. Um, I'm not putting the minifigures in here yet. I don't know how I'm going to do it. So we're supposed to... He's the driver with the dinky little wheel. And he's taking a picture of that big whale. I mean... I don't know, but I don't really do a whole lot of sea stuff yet because I don't have a place for it. But yeah, that's what it's going to look like when we're done. Well, that's it for for manual one. That's not too bad. Okay, so I may have to stop in the middle of this from time to time to... And that's what we have supposedly remaining there. But I may have to stop the video because right now I'm trying to edit some videos right now and trying to get things going and all sorts of stuff and I think I'm gonna do bags one through five in this installment so this is what we're gonna be doing next here and so far this is isolated but I think the boat is not a collaborative build Let me pick that over there and get that out of the way. so all I can say is that that's what we'll be doing and stuff like that I need to find bag two. So, yeah, I hate when people demand too much out of me. And I need to get off my rear, get a haircut, clean myself up a bit, make a video on how YouTube is not my job. But then I thought, well, how many people are saying YouTube is their job if I'm getting pestered by it, right? So I Googled it. Where it says Lego is my job or how to make Lego a career. My God, there's a, there's so many there's so many videos on the topic. I thought, well, that's probably why. Because I never had these problems before until that. So then I got to thinking, you know. 
I mean, that's what people want, I guess. Uh, it's like, I do this for fun. We're going to leave the wig off of him. And I need to find the head. Getting these heads on sometimes can be a bit of a chore. There we go. So they got the wig on him, but let's put the helmet. I'm going to do everything like that. And I need this piece right here. It's a two by two dome. It's in that transparent light blue, and I need that. It They made it before, but... Oh, this is already pre-molded. I was looking for a winch. Like a little thing that goes in there. All right, well, here's the deal. Oh, there it goes. I was like, that doesn't fit in there, but it does. You have to line up this and the oxygen tank at the same time. It just feels kind of loose, so you got to be careful with that. And he's got a, a little compass here. Well, it's a printed gauge, but it's a, they're using it as a compass here. That's what he's got right there. So he can look at that and know where he's going. Maybe it measures the oxygen. I don't know. And that's the wig he's supposed to have. Some kind of blonde slick back. So we're done with him. Oh, we've got the flippers. I mean, I want to. I'm, I'm, I'm eyeballing the big stuff. But what am I doing? Doing the little. I almost said a bad word. Do the little stuff first. And then, yeah. There was some pieces in here that were pretty scratched up. We'll take a look at those in a bit. So I already pretty much have to ding it down. Now we can do the fun stuff here. Yeah, for some reason we had an earthquake or something. And everything in here is kind of unleveled. Parts used to roll off this side of the table. Then they, for some time they were in the middle. Now I have round things that lo roll off to this side. So that's got me worried there. You know. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. So yeah, I think it'd be easier to work behind here But when these builds get bigger, I won't be able to do that. It's like doing the campground. That was a that was hard to do in itself. I had somebody ask me for a service manual today, and I'm like, I hadn't had time to even do that too. Um, and I'm like, can you just give me some time to do? this stuff first well i need this now i'm like well you're gonna have to wait <laughs> i've gotten to like one of my friends says you need to start hitting the pipe and i thought oh, i don't want to get into that nonsense nothing wrong with cannabis or anything like that but i don't want to get into it no not right now and uh I was like, oh, maybe it wouldn't be a bad idea after all, where everybody's stretching me and twisting and pulling me. But I was like, I'm trying to get caught up here on things. All right. Anyways, though, let's get to some fun stuff here. I'll try to get my mind off of all the nonsense going on around here today. Um... Doesn't seem like a bad build. So far, we're doing a lot of small pieces, but it's starting to, it'll get bigger stuff. Matter of fact, I'm missing a 1x2 brick with a clip that goes here. And I have this. Um. Now, I'm not going to say that it's missing or not, because I did have six of these poured out. This is bag two, so it's probably in bag... It's probably in bag nine. Or, or one, two, three, four, bag four. 
And does this even tell me what the piece count is on this? I have those in my collection. I just have to dig them out. I swear every time I get to doing something like this, um, you know, probably just one in there. Yep, just one of those. So I'd have to find it out of my collection. It's not on the, the floor or anything, because I check. Now I check. I get on my hands and knees and I look. And, yeah, I don't want to spend too much time. So let me go find one out of my collection. So here we have this. And I'm hoping that I didn't lose it. I'm hoping Lego did pack it in there. And this, I'm afraid, might be older brown. So I'm going to be very careful with that. And I've been trying to just get caught up on things in general right now. One of the things I'd like to do today is start getting more videos done. So the thing about the laptop, I was like, oh, I can probably blast through videos and stuff. It took me forever to get the editing software to work on it. Got it to work, except for the sound. iTunes was being a turd. No surprise there. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, I'm not getting anything working today. So I just kind of said, okay, I'm not messing with that laptop right now. And I thought, well, I could use the work computer, which is, it's got iTunes on it. I mean, not iTunes, iMovie on my, on my iMac. And I thought, well, I got to figure out how to use this because I don't really edit movies. That's just mostly for software editing. And I was like, well, I don't have time right now for it. We're going to deal with that later. And that's essentially where I'm at now. I'm trying to trying to get all these videos going. I thought, well, I could probably run two videos at the same time and just be done with it, right? And I thought, I could literally just breeze through this. So... I, like I said, I may have to stop here and there because I'm looking over my shoulder right now because I'm editing a video. Um, I don't know when the order of these are going to be released. I can't tell you what it is. But it's another set review. I mean, I'm going to be doing set reviews for about five weeks. It's I'm not kidding. It's going to be a lot of videos. But so far, I've been pleased with the city sets. They're 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 different. These are different. These are like more higher end builds here. I need to start bring, putting it more on the camera though. But they're more of a higher end build. They're not cheesy or anything like that. This is just kind of barely tacked here. Between this, work, family, uh, I just, it's hard to keep up with everything now. It's, you know, I just, oh, well, that fell on the floor. But it's just hard to keep up with everything. And then, then I'm doing YouTube just to relieve my stress, which some people are just not really considerate on. Like, where's my video? <laughs> I'm like, your video. I've already ranted about that enough. All right, so this goes back here. Like that. And don't worry, we're going to have to change the angle of the camera eventually. So it looks like this here is supposed to be some sort of a ship. Like... Like a sunken ship, like a portion of a ship that you can probably put underwater. Although I would have picked a different color than this for the base. These seaweed pieces are always cool. So I got to hope I can find that piece there. It didn't break, so we're good. <laughs> we got lucky there. We got one of these type of... It's like a metallic dark gray chest. And... 
with the trunk lid on the top. I'm sure there's going to be stuff that goes in there. There we go. Set that in there. And then we have... What's this? Minecraft? <laughs> it's this Minecraft? Could be. I haven't really sat down and played Minecraft. I've been so busy. I don't think that's meant to close. It's kind of kind of packed loose there. That's how it is. And then we got the crab here. See, everything's just rolling off this way. I, yeah, we had an earthquake here, and it's just been... Things have just been kind of weird. It wasn't nothing major, but it was enough to where you can hear the rumble of the ground out here. But they assured us there was there's no sinkholes or anything. It doesn't tell me exactly what stud that goes on. I'm assuming it's right there. That's what it shows. But they got the crab wearing the helmet. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> and uh, I think we're building another one of those little submarines. This set is not too bad. This is something like you'd see like in one of those poly bag sets. So, so far, the build is broken down pretty small. So, you know, you're thinking, well, you know, on the box, and then you're looking at this, you're thinking for $160, I better get what I'm paying for. And, you know, you know, if this stuff was provided to me for review and I didn't have to spend a dime on it, I'm spending my time on it. So I'm hoping I'm not wasting time. <laughs> So, so far, I don't know. Oh, there it is right there. There it turned up. There it is. So, that right there. That's why now I just pull them out of my collection. If they show up, then okay. No missing parts again. But yeah, I just uh, kind of, kind of want to get all the reviews done so I can start doing some of the fall tutorials. I got a couple of ideas I'd like to start doing. But it's it's kind of hard when you're uh, just constantly busy and people are pulling you every which way to for you to do stuff for them and I'm like you got to slow down. It's like volunteering for something and they complain about the volunteer help. I'm like, that's when you gotta hire someone. You know, like this, I just do this stuff in my free time, but now it's getting to be more of a chore. All right, and then, because I've been doing nothing but filmings every day. Now, doing these are not too bad. It's the editing that I hate doing. And that's just it. I just don't like to do the video editings. Those would be good for little drones, huh? And then we stick a plate on there. Okay, it goes right in the middle. Yeah, my hair has gotten so bad it's going in my eyes, too. Just haven't had time. My, Like I mentioned in another installment, my barber's in another place, and I have to... go clear across town to go to him now. He's a little more expensive, but he get good service, so I think I'll go. And I just got to find the time. Before he was pretty close to the house, it was within walking distance. Now I have to go somewhere else. Yes, I get lazy like that, but oh, and it goes the other way. I have a feeling people are going to be playing with the ship more than this. We have one extra tile here. Let's see, did I forget something somewhere? Let's 
I'm checking here. Check my work. Always check your work. Because if that came from another bin, then so be it. And I don't see this. It must have rolled when I poured the bags out. It's like I said. Always hang on to your spare pieces until the end of the build. Because you never know when you'll need them. And that's what we have remaining for bag two. And so far we've survived this far. All right, let's move on to booklet bag three there. I like that. Lego, you got to keep doing this. to Do this to all your sets, because I tell you, this is easy to follow here. And we're going to be doing the helicopter. So I think what I'm going to do here, I'm going to back this thing up and then just raise this up a bit here because it'd be easier doing it that way. Right now, I just, now I'm sending up, a, now I'm finally got done with editing a set now I'm sending it up to YouTube. <laughs> so you get to hear the behind the scenes here. And we're not going to fold up that laptop on her hand. So. Okay, so that's one thing you don't want to do is fold up those laptops. Because they'll break. I had one break in half. And I thought, well, that's kind of, kind of a waste. So I don't fold. I fold them just where they, you know... All right, we're going to have to do all the boring stuff first, and there's only two in here. I don't know how many minifigures there are. I just know they kind of sock them to you real quick and get them done as fast as you can. Uh, no, that's the wrong legs and torso combination. What I do is I start just pulling out parts here. Until I find the right ones. And once I start finding all the parts, then I start putting things together here. And she has a double-sided head. I need some more double-sided heads. I, the ones with the angry expressions I'm kind of looking for. Pretty cool. And she's got the laptop here. Like I said, I don't bend these. I bend them like this. But don't bend these too far because I've had these break here at this joint. So I leave them like that. I don't even put them anymore. So she, It shows it with it closed here. That, that'll wear out. So I'm not going to do that. She'll have, to, she'll have to stick with it here. Okay. She'll have to carry it around open. But um, this guy has an open end wrench. This guy's got some kind of weird look on his face, but you really can't see on this camera. Yeah, I was looking at the video for that other thing, though, with the 4K. I'm going to just kind of play around with the 4K camera a bit more. My machine's not really built for 4K. 1080, it'll do just fine, but 4K, it's, you know... They show that he has the... Wow, I didn't know that wig was for this. Maybe we'll put that on him. <laughs> Let's do that. I was looking at it thinking, man, this is a mullet or something. Let's see here. Oh, it's an undercut. They do it like that. Okay, I'll leave it like that. I think that looks better on him. <laughs> you know, Lego's starting to get all this modern stuff. Remember back when we were kids, they didn't have all these cool hairdos. Oh, he's got the hole in the head too. Maybe it's for headphones or something. I was always talking about, why don't they ever have undercuts on Lego? But now they do. And that's it for the figures. So we don't care about the helmet. We got it together anyways. And then now we're building a vehicle. Oh, I think it's the helicopter. So you're going to be doing a lot of stuff in here first. So bags one, two, and three are just the accessories. And we're putting all the accessories together first before we even get to the main build. 
So I'm hoping to uh, get that done. And no, I didn't have a hair cut like that. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe that. I was thinking, I thought it was just like a like a brush back. Uh, oh God, what do they call those things? A mullet. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, I gotta like the new parts. I, like I mentioned in a previous installment series, there's some out there who don't like the new pieces in Lego. They want to keep everything original. I'm like, why? I want more variety. I want more parts, you know. I don't want to have just the same old things, you know, to do. Forgot to put that in there. And I, I, I just like the new parts, you know. I mean, I like the new colors, the parts. You know, and some have said, which, you know, I kind of understand, you know, it takes away from the imagination. Oh, wait a minute, I made a mistake. Some have said it takes away from the imagination, but you know what, for me, I got to pop all this apart. I'll show you here in a second. This is actually supposed to be in there. But for me, the imagination still works. Wait a minute, there was already one down here. Oh, wait a minute, I gotta take the whole thing off. Hold on. Now I need the brick separator. Since it's a shame it's so early in the build, too. But yeah, I was like. Some people don't like the change. Yeah, this whole thing has to be ripped apart. <laughs> I'm glad I caught that early. But I like all the new parts and stuff that Lego's coming out with, and the new colors. Especially for the guys out there who hate the pinks and the pastels. Like, how dare Lego bring that stuff out? I'm like, no, I like those colors. Those are kind of cool. Because never, I mean, we, we they had Belleville and Fabuland and all that stuff. But nothing like what we have today. I mean, Friends essentially is like Belleville. Just a different type of doll figure. And I just like putting stuff together. I like the new pieces, though. And here's the deal. I don't have to use these new pieces if I choose not to. You know, a lot of people don't get that. I don't have to build something modern. Was there something I'm missing here? Okay. I was. Okay, this goes here. I don't want to get to the boat. I don't know how I'm going to do that yet. So I'm probably going to set that one up. Or I'll probably read through the manual so I don't have to keep jiggling the camera around. Um, but yeah, I like the new stuff. New parts are always cool. you are still got to use your imagination. It's like Minecraft. It's blocky, right? Well, they've been releasing more cool stuff for it. And there's some guys out there that want to keep Minecraft at 1.7.10, which is like the holy grail of mods at that time. All the good mods were in that s set. But now it's like... Today, I don't want to... I, I, I want to have more. I want more variety. Alrighty, got that done and a round plate. I did see a video. The right way to the the right or the correct way to build a Lego set. I kid you not, there's videos like that on YouTube. How to build a Lego set. I, you know. And I'm like, does it really matter? If I'm having fun, does it matter how I put it together? I'm trying to get these straightened out here. Yeah, when I get off here, 
I need to look for the, I'm glad I'm, wait, let me read this real quick here. I need to look for that, that tripod that I have. The electrical stuff, and I'll see if I can make a light that I can move around. It's like what I got overhead. It'd be a lot brighter though. So I can do that for you. That doesn't go there. We're getting there. I thought that was a friction, but no, that wasn't friction. Okay. Once I find all this stuff, I'll be fine. And then we can start having more lighting and videos. Like, I have it here. I just got to find it. <laughs> okay, this goes like this. Sometimes these helicopter builds are pretty cool. I kind of want to get into more aviation builds. I know some have told me that in our group that aviation's not really a fun thing to do. It just sits there and stuff. And they can, what do you do with your car as they sit in a city? Airplanes, you can't really have them fly, but have them on a tarmac. You know? The other night, or the other day I was working, trying to find something to listen to, to fill in dead silence. And they had old recordings from 9-11. And it's kind of spooky now listening to that, because some of us lived through that stuff in terms of when it happened. I remember when I was in going to school when it happened and driving to college and then I made a U-turn on the next had to take the next exit off make a U-turn and went back home because you didn't know what was happening and then all that stuff because you didn't nobody knew what was going on and this is in pristine condition but I'd still kind of listen to that. It's still kind of creepy today. I was listening to the recordings of Flight 93 with all the air traffic, and I was like, man, that's just, it's just creepy to listen to all that. There's not a whole lot holding those tiles on there. All right, we're not done yet. So this must be one that fits on a on the ocean because helicopters don't normally have wheels. <laughs> All right, so we got to make two of these. So we're going to have to pay attention here. But no, I was listening to the recordings the other day. After a while, I get tired of listening to music and stuff. And I was just sitting there going, "Man, this is this was a long time ago." And it was just kind of creepy listening to it. I remember when I listened to one a couple of months ago when one of the towers got hit and then the second one went down and then I still remember there was a civ there was a civilian trapped in a fire truck trying to get out of all that stuff. I thought, man, imagine living in that. That would be very, very hard to deal with. But I was just listening to those recordings, and I was like, wow, you know. Hard to believe that was a long time ago. But I remember when I turned on the radio in my truck, and that every station, there was no music at all. There was nothing. When I got home, I turned on the police radio, Police radio was still doing the same old stuff, but I turned on the aviation frequencies. And that's when I heard all aircraft will be grounded. If you're en route, you complete your destination, go to the nearest airport, and you had to land. And that's what we had remaining there. And it was it's still scary today to hear all that. And the points go in the back. So, well, Lego, you could have put a shaft in there. That just came apart. I would have shoved a cross axle in there. 
or maybe you probably couldn't because of the uh, Technic pins. But yeah, still to this day, and I wasn't in New York or anything like that, but that's still scary. And that's it. And that's where it goes in the back there. So essentially, we have all the little stuff done in this installment. Now, I could stop right here and call it a day, but I, I could break it down into three sessions. But let's take a look and see what we have here. And the first thing is you're going to be working on part of the boat. Now, what I'm checking for right now is the boat is broken down into two pieces. I'm looking to see how I can do four and five real quick because I still got to find the a light. I'll have skipping pages, obviously. We haven't even got to the sticker sheet yet, well, which is good, but. We're doing the A. Well, this has got a lot of detail in it. <laughs> this has got a lot of detail. This looks fun. I can't wait to build this. All right. Okay, it's not even telling me what bags go where. Don't tell me they're just all mixed up because that would make it kind of hard to build. Bag seven. All right, so we're building the, the, the little portion. And we'll set that up here. This is what we'll be messing with here. And let's readjust all that real quick for you. And I'm trying to get it set up here. And my camera's completely bottomed out. So how do I do that? I just have to uh, drop the tripod down a bit more or raise it up. <laughs> And why didn't I do this off stream? Yeah, I don't know. Now I don't, that's why I don't do these live anymore. I remember when I would do them live and I'd have to move the camera around. And I'd always get somebody say, well, why do you have to keep moving the camera around for? Why don't you just keep it in one area? I'm like, or just use the zoom. I'm like, it's a little more complicated than that. Like, these are pretty big. This is not a, this is not a small set. And... Let me get everything situated here. And there's another piece to it here. And I'll show you here. Let me focus in here. So bag four essentially involves part of this. And this is just one pre-molded piece. I got a lot of plans for that. But it, 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 it grows. You get this other piece too, which is kind of like, it doesn't have no way to attach it. So I don't know how we're going to do this yet. And you can see here it's long. It's about maybe four inches longer than my table. So I don't know what I'm going to do. And they say this floats. So yeah, that's pretty much a pre-molded piece. This comes out. So that's what it looks like on the bottom there. Just unsnap that. I don't think it's meant to do that. So don't tear that apart, guys and gals. <laughs> but I think we're working in this area here. So I'm going to tell you right now, I think this probably here is probably about $20. Just this piece alone. So, and then... Well, before we can even get started, we got to do the minifigures. Let's do those first. Let's 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 bring out all the big bulk stuff. Yeah, let's bring out all the big bulk stuff first, and then we'll go ahead and do the little minifigures, so I can talk about them for forty-seven minutes. Okay. Some people say I bitch too much, but yeah. Like I said, that's why a lot of guys put the piano music in their videos. Probably because they complain too. Except theirs is filtered. Um, let's get going here. we got to do two minifigures real quick with head dressings. Uh, this one's got a beard i got to find. There's the beanie. 
So let's do the boring stuff first. And this set, spoiler alert, has a string you're going to have to tie it on. So that's not going to be too fun. Okay, I think, uh, I think we know where the radio goes. So she's got the radio. She's. We'll use that face there. <laughs> we'll use that one. She's winking her eye at you. I got a couple of ideas for that one there. And um, this one's got the beard. I already got the beanie for her. And remember that radio that I had found on the floor that goes in here. Okay. So we'll put the radio in her hand and that takes care of her. Okay. Got her out of the way. And then now we gotta do this guy here which he needs a beard. I think it's a beard. I don't know what that is. Could be part of the jacket too. I don't know what it is. He's got Jay the Surfer hair. Maybe it's just part of the jacket, like the fluffy part of it or something, or maybe a scarf. I don't know what that is. I thought it was a beard, but that's what it is. He's got the binoculars. I know, I want to get to the boat, too. No, you got to have your vegetables before you des dessert, kids. And I need a couple of these. Okay, it does have the little notch in the back. I need to do something like this. But, you'll have to wait for a tutorial for that. Yes, I'm enjoying the new parts. <laughs> you know, I mean, like I said, Lego's getting good about the parts. There we go. So he's got his binoculars ready to go. Okay, we're done with him. Now we can do the boat. Hopefully there's no more little stuff that we have to do here. Okay, now we can do the fun stuff. Well, Jay, the minifigures are fun. Yeah, not really. Okay, step one is the boat hull. I kid you not, that's step one right there. That's step one. Step two, we are putting a brick in here, and i got to do it the same way that the book shows. I'm debating if I still want to put this in my pole for a, a, a shot. I made for the thumbnail. And I need the stickers. They have the set number that goes on these here. So we need sticker number five. And I may keep the stickers on this. I don't know. But um, because I'd like to use this for something else. I think sticker six is going on when we get over there. Okay. I'm getting more people asking about this channel too. So at least I know a, a few of you are interested in the builds. I do complete builds unless the camera craps out. Okay? Some things I just can't control. But I do the full the full the full thing. I don't just speed build through it. Then we put the sticker on the other side, which is sticker number making tree. Got to double make sure here, six. And see if I can get that one almost in the same area here. Jay, you must enjoy putting stickers on here. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't enjoy that at all. Um, 
I don't enjoy putting stickers on my stuff. Because both pieces of this boat I could probably use for something else. But I kind of want to know how they join those parts in there. And with the two lanterns in here, I have a feeling that this is probably where the crew sleeps. I don't know yet. So far, I can't judge the build. And let me see if I can get that glare off that light. Like I said, that's what I'm working on right now, is getting it to where you don't see all the imperfections of this and stuff. But I think this is where the crew sleeps at here. All right, I think so, because we smooth tile a bunch of this off here. It's like we got a bunch of sleeping bags here. They use the studs down here, probably the same reason why I do on some of my beds. So when you put your minifigures in here, they're actually anchored down. So you can move it around and they don't fly off the beds. But yeah, I think this piece here alone would be perfect for all sorts of mocks. I got smaller boats that float. But this one here, but I'm just still debating if I want to put it in the pool. We want one mug. I'm still debating on trying it in the pool just for that purpose. And... Um, it's the cl chlorine will dry out pieces if you're not careful. But this would make a great mock piece right here for like a, something large. Um, my motor, my motorhomes and fifth wheels are eight studs. So just imagine you could put, you could make this into a ferry boat if you wanted to. No, I'll put my fifth wheel on here and, and call it a, a houseboat. <laughs> there you go. You're all done. All right. I've been looking for some more plane windows. And we need to put those right at the edge here. So I think we're going to be in for a treat, but for $160 so far... Um, part of that's got to be build experience. So far, the build's been pretty pleasant, except for my boo-boos, but that's because I wasn't paying attention. But that's on me. There we go. But I think for the thumbnail, I may put this in the pool. Be like, if you want to see it float, look at the thumbnail. I'm not going to take it outside. It'll be nice to do a review by the pool, huh? filling in those corners there. It's going to look kind of odd with it like that. It's like you can't put a tile on that or anything, but still. So far we're using big pieces in this. And a 2 by 4 brick, if you heard me correctly. And it's gray. Oh, there it is. See, how can I lose something like that? And, well, if we got a round brick that I can't find on a white countertop, I've been thinking about making it an off-white or something. And then we got this with the half-round tile. That might be the porta potty I have a feeling that that's probably what that is there. Wow, we're using big bricks? Wow, Lego. I like that this is already my favorite build. It's already got big stuff. Oh, wait a minute, I made a mistake. That doesn't go there yet. This goes here. Then these two go here. All right. Got it so excited with the porta potty. I think that's what it is. All right. 
don't know if I want to do this all in one sitting. I think I'm just going to focus on the first five bags and come and do the other ones later. Lego, you need to bring out a 1x2x6 column. I've mentioned that before, but, you know, especially for the new windows and door frames. It could work. All right. We got some double doors. I like these doors. They just don't come in a whole lot of colors. I just like them because they're double. You know, some houses have the double doors. Now we just got to get Lego to make like a six panel door and some of these with little windows and stuff. Or maybe some way to put curtains on them. I think that's a bathroom. Because they have a double, they have a set of double doors over that area right there. So you can open that up and uh, Pinch a loaf. <laughs> All right, let's see here. And we have a ladder that goes here. I think this is really kind of my first big, large boat set. But like I said, for the build experience, did I waste my time? Do I feel like I'm wasting my time now? No, so it's not like I'm wasting my time. Because some people get pretty biased on sets like, oh, they sent it to me. I'm really happy. Right now, I'd rather be doing tutorials. But now they want me to rotate it like that so I can see it better. But for me personally, though, um, if I'm enjoying the build and I want to keep putting it together, that's what Lego wants. Hey, this guy wants to keep building this. You know, versus building something that I'm kind of regretting. This is not quite what I wanted to do. Let's see, why do we put that one by one there? Would have been more sturdier if we did that. My stomach be a growling. I don't know what I'm going to fix for dinner. Oh, and today's the 20. I think it's the 25th of April, or 25th of May, 2023. It's a Thursday, so I don't know. I'm not even paying attention. I'm kind of running some work real quick. Doing YouTube videos and doing work. Hoping you're seeing what I'm doing here. I'm trying to document all the steps for you. I like these little wall elements here. I just wish they made them in different sizes and stuff. Because these go perfect with that. And then... They have a crab in there, huh? What's this, an aquarium? It might be. I'm trying to see what it is. Well, there's no backside, but the crab can still get out through that hole. I don't know yet. Maybe it's going to go up against the wall, right? There's always one side that has to face away from you. That's exactly what this is. It's a crab. It's kind of cool. I really can't wait to see this. This is going to be a fun little exploration video here kind of explore it and see, you know, what's going on in here. So yeah, so far I don't feel like I've wasted my time, so that's a good build experience there. And remember that tile that I found? It goes in here. And that is what we have remaining for bag four. That's not bad, and that's pretty much what it is. So, so far, I'm happy. All right, so I think what we're going to do here, 
I probably should just continue on with the build, but I think what I'm going to do is keep these pretty relatively short, and then, yeah, and we're going to just going to continue on with bag six here, or bag five. Oh, no, 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 no. Look what it asked me to do. Five and six together. So, let me take a look here. It's asking me to do five and six together, but here's six. And here... So... We're gonna, we're gonna hang on to it right now, and when it starts asking me to use pieces out of five and six, yeah, then we'll think about it. Okay, and I have a feeling some of this stuff's gonna go here. We'll just keep that in there right now until we need it. And then we'll just, we'll just continue on here. Um, I'm trying not to make these too long and grotesque because I gotta edit them. Usually 800 pieces gets to be kind of brutal. It's asking me to mix five and six, which is kind of odd. Well, now I'm missing another one of those. There we are. So, Jay, what are you going to do when they ask you to do that? Well, we'll wait and see until what happens. And if they need something, then that's what I'll do. Now i got to find a round tile. This one's got a little bit of a print work on it there. And we're going to continue on until we uh, get to a point here where I'm going to, you know, this goes here. Okay, so far so good. We made it. And we need a seat, a blue seat. It goes there, and it just sits right on this right here. And they have the syringe hanging on the wall without any protection around it. So you can get jabbed by that. So that's why they did that. So you'd have to visit the infirmary. You know, <laughs> I got to have fun doing these. I can't make them stale and boring. Well, I was talking about buying black keyboards. Here's one right here. Still going to buy a few of those. And... This piece here must have floated in that other bag. Here it is. So it must be a, a microscope. How I know that is they use the binoculars always for these. Okay. Okay, so that's what that is. That's a slide right there you'd put in there, but I mean, that's the wrong way. I think I have a microscope in my uh, in my shop. It's one of those ones you can hook up, but it's it only goes up to I think it's only up to 500 and something lines of resolution. You got the um, it's an old one, probably from the 90s. I kind of want to get it working. I don't know what I'd use it for. I'm not into all that, but picking up this glass stuff off the table is hard. And so I don't know where bag six came from. That's kind of odd. I thought, well, why in the heck are they doing that for? We don't know. Well, we'll find out eventually. But once these parts are done, that's fine. But if I need to dump out the other one, then so be it. But right now we're going to, I'm going to look at page, or step 38. It kind of morphs over. It's just two tiles, so I'll just stick the tile here. And these manuals are so hard to move around. I wish I could get a digital copy of this just in PDF. Plain boring PDF Lego, just that's all I want. Same thing, just I want to be able to put it on my screen because I got a I got an extra computer monitor I can just hang up over here. I need to contact them about can I stream it in the video so people can do build alongs. The manuals are free to download, but still 
Okay. Yeah, I'll need to buy a couple of these black keyboards. So, so far, bag five is isolated. And this goes here. Put it back on this side right now. Just making sure you can see, and it's getting pretty, getting pretty cluttered up here. At least the parts, there's, you're not overwhelmed with parts in here. You're not, oh, and I got that backwards. But you're not overwhelmed with parts. At least there's enough room to get the brick separator. And my goodness, that'd be impossible to get out. Okay. And then now they want me to deface a tile with a sticker. Put that there right now. And that's sticker number three. is the treasure chest. I'll show you here in a second here. Why couldn't that have been printed? That would make a great screen for a TV. But that's right there. And then this goes right here and it just sits right here. It's a flat screen TV. Pretty cool, huh? All right. And so if you see bags five and six and you're watching this, you know, probably somebody's already bought the set. Don't don't race through it. Just unbag bag five first. Just do that one bag and you'll be fine. Just do it right now. Because right now I haven't had any issues with it whatsoever. Boy, the furniture in here is kind of basic, you know? We're not done yet, so I don't know. Um, oh, it's some kind of espresso machine, like a coffee machine. Not a copy, a coffee. And no, I don't drink coffee. <laughs> I have a hard time sleeping as it is without caffeine. Imagine if I had caffeine in my system. Well, yikes, I would not be sleeping at all. I'd be awake 24-7. That would not be good. I have not been sleeping well lately, so... And this just sits right there. Yeah. And we have a little dinette set here. This is basic. It's five studs from the end here, so it's right in the center. This is basic. This is their dinette set. So except for this over here, the furniture in this hole is just very basic. Very basic. So I, I don't know. <laughs> but we haven't used any other, st any other bricks yet in here. It's asking for two of those. And now I think uh, it's in the other... Well, I, oh, there it is, hidden under there. Like I said, I want to make sure that this is isolated. So if you get this set, or if you're contemplating on it, and when you're building it, you don't have to dump everything out and drag the build out. So I don't know why Lego did that, but we're going to find out here in a bit. How do you get down in here, huh? Is there a ladder that drops down? No, that answered my question. There's some doors in here. I don't think they're closet doors. Well, we gotta put a sticker on this, but I don't care about these. Some kind of world map or the globe. Honestly, just by looking at this, I just wish this was printed. That'd make a great thing for like a spaceship or a satellite or something like that. And then these kind of hang over like on the back side. 
This goes right here. Pretty cool. Yeah, I'm trying to go more into detailed stuff for you guys and gals. And we have a header on the top to strengthen all that up. So you may have to wiggle that in a bit. Just to open up the doors and have fun with it. So far, I think it's a playable model. All right. When we get to the big part, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Uh, I may have to have the camera in the corner kind of going like this. We're not done yet here, folks. Take that. I always use these for like attaching shower heads, but with the newer parts, I don't need them anymore. But and then this ladder, I'm assuming, is next. No, it's not next. And the ladder goes in. And it goes down. Okay, now, we just completely cleaned out bag number five. So bag is isolated because now they're telling you this right here. Why they have us dump both of these in, I don't know. But I think I'm going to take a breather here right now. I could probably finish this up. But I want to savor this build. This is a really good one. So build recap. Um... Honestly, the interior, it's playable, but as you can see, the furnishings in here are kind of left to be desired of. But it is scaled for figures. So, that's it. I'm not, I'm not dissatisfied with this bill. <laughs> so, I got to do a thumbnail of this now and hear the loud roar of the motorcycles, but... I don't know why people ride those things. It's beyond me. So anyways, we will continue with bags 6 through 9 in the next installment. So hope to see you there.